over here. Cleveland is licking the mess out of me. What's happening, everybody? Hold on, I'm trying to fix. What's up, everybody? What's going on, people? Uh, my bad, y'all. I'm trying to. I didn't went live on my MacBook. This is my first time, so bear with me. Let me get shit where I can see the comments. Okay. All right, there we go. There we go. So, can y'all hear me? Somebody let me know. Can y'all hear me? All right, everybody can hear me. All right, sorry about last week's. It wasn't an episode. Um, I told y'all I'm looking for two people, man. Actually, I'm looking for a lot of people right now. And everybody is, uh, no, I did not cut my hair. It's just rough um i'm looking got people i'm looking for right now on the run um so i couldn't let them know exactly what i was doing but now it is what it is so sorry about that guys but y'all know this is this is real hunting so it's like actual a live hunt it's, it's active right now so um i gotta be careful what i put out there so you know that's why my apologies. All my people, though, man, we are looking for Mr. Short. Right now, it look a little distorted. Some of y'all seen in the episode. If not, it'll come out. Mr. Matthew, I'm sorry, Mr. Joshua. I'm looking for Matthew, too. Joshua Short, man, Akron. We on his ass. Anybody got any information, please call the tip line. Call or text the tip line. Do not call just to call. It won't be me answering. And if you're not, if you don't have legit information, you will get hung up on. <laughs> this is a real business. So, anybody got any information? Text, calls, it's confidential. Like I said, we're actually looking for multiple people right now. I got another guy, Matthew Gross. He's the guy that has a fuck you on his neck. He has tatted, literally. Fuck you on, your, on his neck. You can see it. So, looking for him as well. So, man, yeah, we we out here hunting, man. It's just like I said, we couldn't. I couldn't show what I was looking for, but um, yeah, it is what it is, man. So, yeah, he got fuck you on your neck. He's he's a variable nose with dude. Thank you, uh, Myra Thomas. So, if y'all see a dude with fuck you tatted on his neck, call me immediately. You cannot miss him. It's fuck you on your neck. Stressing me out. <laughs> Don't talk about, hey, I seen him. Because if he ain't got fuck you on your neck, that ain't him. That's a hell of a tattoo, ain't it? Shit, that ain't even good handwriting either. Like, well, he fucked up penmanship on his neck. Oh, man, man. Yeah, you got to fuck you on this thing, man. So, um, oh, yeah, guys. I got emails. Hey, when y'all order merch, some of y'all don't read. It says you have to allow three to five business days before we send it out. Y'all, some not all, about, but some people are like, I didn't get more. You read, you got to read. Then they'll tell you, thank you, Stacey Payne. But hats are going out today. Hats are going out today. Good quality. These are from Lids KDU. These are going out today, man. So, um, oh, also, also, did we put that up yet? No. Z, go oh, grab me a black hat real quick. Also, I'm putting these on the website today too. Um, I'm working on women clothes. Just 
I'm working. Also, we got the black on black. This will go up on the website today too, man. So right now the camouflage uh trucker hats foam are are up. Get them, they're going fast. Once they're gone, y'all know they're gone. And I'm also putting the black on black today. Um, yeah. But anyway, yeah, we back on the hunt. I had took, I ain't gonna lie, I took like a I took a little time, man. I needed a rest. When you go, I go hard, like nonstop. And it's it's super draining, and it's, and sometimes I need to take a, a reset and just kind of um you know gather myself and take a step back and come back to the hunt part. I was literally burnt out, like stuff I normally think about how to find people. I just my mind was going, so I needed a reset. So I feel somewhat better now. I took a couple of days. Um, I would have liked to take like a week, like a week break, but it is what it is. I got to catch these two, so I catch these next couple. I'm think I'm gonna take me a vacation, man. Yeah. I'm trying to see how many episodes we're going to go this season. That's depending on a couple other things that I'm not going to speak about right now. But right now, it's still going. Um, read some of these facts. Thank you, Hot Heads, ordering the black and black. Appreciate you, bro. Yep, get the hats, man. They, hey, these are good quality. This, they embroidered too, man. I, I, uh, I didn't bullshit with these. I got these embroidered. So they cost a little more to get them done, but the quality is good. I wear these like every day. Like this is my favorite shit. I work out in them too. So amazing quality. Like I said, they're from Lids. Right, I'm bringing some of the comments. Let's see. Shout out to Carl Poole. Oh, yeah. Shout out to everybody getting their memberships right now. You know, the hour long videos, unfiltered shit is just wild. Hot heads, my bad. I'm going through Stefan Reese. How do you purchase? You go to www.kickdooruniversity.com and hats are on there. That's www. Wait a minute. Let me let me put it in here. I'm going to put it in here. See, I'm going to start going live on my laptop. It's much easier to do things on here. Let me type it in here for y'all. This is the website, university.com. This is the website you go to to get the uh, the camel hats or the black or the black on black will be up a little bit later. But this is the website to get the um the hats. D Banks still doing episodes on who the fuck is D Banks? You mean D Mac? I, I don't know, bro. To be honest, you have to go check his his channel. I don't I don't um know what he's doing. To be honest, um. Sorry. <laughs> to become a member, click on um anybody's name that has a star, and um it should take you to how to purchase a membership for the hour long unedited episodes. All right, let me looking at more more of the questions from you guys. This is so much better having this see. So how's your day? My day is going going great. Simply, Bronx in the house. Oh, we got New York in here. I love New York, man. Um, so next episode Sunday for the members, and then Monday, you know, for everybody else. And that's how we gonna keep it, man. Hopefully, you know, hopefully we get us a capture, man. I'm going hunting tonight, tomorrow, and um. Probably Sunday, man. We're going hard. So hopefully we get some captures, man. Um, show y'all the process as much as I can without giving away the hunt. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. And it looks like there's only members in here right now. What's up from New Zealand? Hey, everybody here remember. That's what's up, man. But yep. Um came on. Been laughing all week about Buddy hiding under the clothes. Yeah, dude was hiding under the clothes, man. Yeah, that's my fault. I should have been fine. I know better to not look under uh, piles of clothes. But I'm going to be honest. He was laying so flat. He blended in amazingly. He was an amazing clothes hider, man. Best clothes hider ever. Shout out Brandy. Catherine, thank you. Come to Nashville soon. I may be having to come to Tennessee, unfortunately. People on the run everywhere. <sighs> Oh my goodness, I have no clue. But uh yeah. KDU, uh 
trucker hats going out today. Make sure I grab them before they're gone. We're working on new episodes. Had to take a week off. I needed, well, it wasn't even a week, but I had to take some days off just to reset. You can see the tightness in my eyes. But we back to it. And uh, we'll catch y'all this week, man. Some episodes, some updates. Tap in. If anybody on here know the whereabouts of these two guys I'm looking for, hit the tip line. Only serious inquiries because you'll get hung up on it. I'm not answering. So call or text. So don't think you're going to call and just have a conversation with me. It's not just going to be somebody answering um, with legit. We need legit info. Again, we got, we got my man Matthew. Right here. Wait, can y'all see it's a little it's a little hot. There we go. Wait. Let it, let it. There we go. My man Matthew Gross. Fuck you on the neck. He is not in Ohio. He's taken off somewhere. Um, so he's not in Ohio. He may be in Tennessee. I mean, he could be a couple in about two states he may be. So look out if you're out there in them areas. Maybe in Tennessee, maybe in Kentucky. I want people to know. I want I want him to be identified. I want to get the call. I don't care where he gets arrested as long as he gets arrested. And my man Joshua right here. Short. Accurate native. If y'all in Akron, tap in. Hit the tip line. I know it's confidential. And you will be compensated for your information. Okay, it's not snitching. I'm not the police. I'm someone that helps somebody get out of jail, and they fucked with the church's money. So for all y'all, I mean, it's snitch- hey man, it, I ain't the cops. Think about if somebody did something to your friend that you really that you really liked, and you knew who did it. Would you not say nothing? Nah, come on now. Talk to y'all later, man. Jersey in the bitch. What's popping, y'all? Tank, have you ever tried any drugs? No. I just smoke weed, but that's not a drug. But other than that, no. Nothing I've tried. Everything I've done has been natural from the other side. I don't do any crazy shit. Never tried any crazy shit. Don't want to try any crazy shit. I have no urge. I deal with addicts every day in my job. So that's enough deterrence for me to never try some crazy shit, ever. All it takes is one time. For y'all out there curious, don't fucking do it. Don't try some shit, man. Because a lot of these drugs, it takes one fucking time to try it. And it it grabs hold of you. It snatches you. It takes your soul, literally. So if you're getting curious out there, get uncurious. Because it takes one time with some of these drugs. And that's it. If it ain't natural from the earth, do not fuck with it. But, uh, yeah. Let me start rambling. <laughs> yeah. But uh I catch y'all later, man. Um hopefully we have hold on, wait a minute. I, somebody just said they I gotta read this shit. Hold on. Somebody said I did meth for 24 years, finally quit when they started putting Fetty in it. You know what? Thank you. And I'm glad that you stopped, man. For whatever reason. You stop because they put fentanyl in it. Hey, whatever it is, you stop doing it. Congratulations. Stay sober, man. Hey, they got some new drug out here that's fucking wild that I'm hoping does not make its way out here. It's called Trank or some shit where they mixing tranquilizers with fucking fentanyl. It's the wildest shit ever. Where people literally are walking around like zombies. Like zombies. It's scary. I don't even know why somebody want to try some shit like that. Trank is killing Philly. So y'all, so in Philly, is it is it bad out there? Because I, I don't think it's made its way out here to Ohio yet. At least not where I'm at. But if I see some fucking zombies walking around, that means it's made here. And I, I've seen video. It's it's fucking kind of creepy, man. Like it looks like some real zombie apocalypse shit. Like they're just they lean back in weird positions, hands and walking on their fucking knuckles and shit. That's some scary shit, man. God bless him, man. That's some crazy shit. It's like, how do you respond to some shit like that, you know? I don't know, man, but it's getting crazy out here. 
anyway, y'all, uh, I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna let y'all go. We got some more hats. Keep packaging them for you guys so we get them out there. And uh, yeah, I get back to y'all. Deuces. It was supposed to be a cool ending, and then right. So let me try it again.